um, planting is a, a great thing to do in the winter. Um, has anyone ever done forcing bulbs before? No, Sarah, maybe? I have, yeah. yeah. Maybe, I've done succulents before. Oh, cool, that's great. I have. Um, yeah, so forcing bulbs means you're actually forcing them to grow in another season. So we're kind of tricking mother nature and it's a lot of fun to basically um, enjoy flowers when we have such a short growing season, right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. this is something you can do year round in your house if you like it. Um, I often will buy like a, a bag of bulbs on sale in the fall. Usually you can get them like half price. I'll buy a bag of bulbs and then I will just do like one or two at a time. And um, then there's something that's always flowering. So it's fun to watch and you don't need a lot of water. You can grow these things in anything. So if you have a Ziploc bag and some rocks, you know, it would work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these rocks. Uh, the first time I did this, I actually just went out to my driveway and I grabbed some rocks. So they don't have to be anything special. And what I like to do um, is maybe fill it, like maybe do a handful. Like, you might have bigger hands. Maybe like a handful. <laughs> I'll show you. I'm trying to show you. Yeah. I did so, it. Yeah. Is that good? Perfect. Yeah. You don't need a lot of rocks. Um, is that good? Yeah. You guys want to see how I made today? I made this for soup. Oh. How do you do? So um, this other little cup I have. I'm gonna fill the same amount, like I'll show you in my hand. I mean, it's not exact. I'm just gonna use yeah, I'm dropping rocks everywhere. maybe half a cup of rocks. You can put a cup in if you want. It doesn't matter, like it's whatever works. I just like enough that the bulb is gonna be sitting um, above the bottom of your cup or your jar, like if you're at home and you just had like a, a jam jar that you wanted to reuse, that would be fine. Let me grab just a couple more. I need anything, my rocks to go into, extra rocks to go into. And I'm just gonna grab a little water. Does anybody have water near you? I have one here. Right here. So it depends how much, um, how many rocks you put in, okay? So oh. we okay. want, I'll show you. So I don't have that many. Don't have that many. Let me, um, let me explain Is this it. too let many? Me... No, nope. Everyone's doing good. So it's going to be a little different than like flowers, okay? <laughs> like flowers, how, you know, you want to get the stem wet and everything. Do we I actually bought it in now. Hold, hold on, everybody. Let's let Brooke explain and then we can ask her our questions, okay? Hey, I'm sorry. That's okay. I'm going to show you I'm going to show you my video, okay? I'm going to turn my camera right around. Okay. So I am Can you see that it's right under the level of rock? Can you guys see that? Can you guys see that? Yeah. I have a question. So, yep. So we don't want it over the level of rock. That's okay. the big thing to note. So it, as long as it's under, but like just under. Okay, go ahead. Who, who so, wants to go first? Who's got a question? I have a question. I have okay. two questions actually. They're for the same thing though, but this one I feel okay. like this, and then this one I feel like this. Is that okay? Is that too much? That looks good. Yeah, okay, we'll do um, the, higher, the higher up they are, that's great because um, your bulb will see the light sooner. So if you do have more rocks and you want to use them, 
um, I was just thinking of this because it's not a jar, which is see-through, like um, some you of you might have something see-through, you might want to actually use more of your rock because that bulb is going to be searching together. for them. So you want more rocks in mine? Uh, yeah, you could if you wanted to. Yeah, yeah you could put them no. together. Yeah, it, that would be fun. Is this enough rocks though? Once yeah. I add more. Um, can you hold it up again? Yeah, sure. I would add, I would add just a little more only because um, I saw it just a minute ago and I think um, the fun part is you're going to be able to watch the roots grow and the roots need to grow around something. So we're going to pretend that the rocks are like the soil and I'm going to show you right back. I'm going to go see something see through I can use. Okay. I'm gonna um, just show you mine again. I'm gonna add, I added a little bit more. Oops. So these are my two containers. Is this okay now or should I add a bit more? Natalia, hold it up a little higher. Yeah, there just a little bit more. Perfect, that's great, hon. Okay. That's perfect. So I so add a little now. My, yeah. yeah, and do you see how my hands are not getting wet right here? The water is, Right there, right underneath the rock. So how much my water hands are I put in? Um, maybe like right under the level of your rock. So like maybe a half a cup or. So Natalia, as you're pouring in your water, just watch and stop whenever it's right under the rocks. Is this okay? Help. Oh. Let's take out just a little bit of water or you can add more rocks. Oh, okay. I take out some water then. Yeah, it's up to you. Okay, hold on just I'm one back. minute, guys. Is this good? Hold it up. Too... Can you move it over a little? Let me... Oh, so, oh, higher. you're doing a good job. You can either add more rocks or you could take out a little bit of water. What do you what do you want to do? Um, oh, well, there's a little bit more rock. I need more rock. Okay, a handful, right? Yeah, sure. That's enough rocks. Is that good enough? We got a lot of rocks in here. Yeah, that looks good. Um, I'm gonna okay. I would take out just a little bit of water. I don't want to be picky, but I don't want your bulbs. I would take out just a little bit of water. I don't want to be picky, but I don't want your bulbs to um rot either bring them all in the face yeah i did it did you take out a little bit of water natalia yeah i did is that good i didn't water in yet could you take out a teeny bit more yeah i'm putting water in yet okay that's water. okay sarah I'm hey brooke gonna... yep um do we put the bulbs in first uh nope we're gonna put them in last thank you though for asking I did it. Is that enough? Is that okay? I'm trying to see if my balls will fit in my thing. Well, Natalia, can you hold it up a little higher and a little, and then a little closer? <laughs> yeah. And a little higher. You're so close. There we go. Is that good? Is that good? It's enough water. Yeah, that looks good. It's not water for mine. Oh yeah, uh, I can't see your water line. That's right. Do you yeah. see? Is this good? I would go a little higher. Okay. What water? No, me. <laughs> um, I don't want to use people's names because I know we're recording. Sarah. But, um, you, it's okay. Yep. <laughs> okay, so Sarah, add a little more water. <laughs> okay. And Natalia, can you raise it up, honey? Yeah. That looks good. That looks good. Should I take your water? I think it's okay, honey. Okay, Unless you have more one. rocks you want to add. Oh, okay. There's mine. Okay. This is good. Can awesome. you see mine? Yeah. I'm going to turn my camera around. So great. Um, so this it's is the really water exciting Yeah, that looks perfect, Sarah. For both bulbs? Yep. Yep. Um, 
So the really exciting part with the bulbs is even though they're not going to be touching the water, the roots actually are going to like sniff out the water. <laughs> you probably have them upside down like this or straight up like this. So there's going to be a part that's green on top, right? Yep. And it might be like kind of greenish brown. Yep. And, but that's okay because they go dormant and they're good year after year. So you could actually like when this flowers and it dies, you could actually let it die, but I'll go into that in a minute. But, um, so you're going to put it. So the green or brown part is facing up. Okay. On top of your rock. So you can either make a little hole for it or like this. Yeah. Just like that. Just stuff right on top of your rocks. Yeah, just like that. In now. Yeah, and you could put both of them right in there if you want to. Mm -hmm. I did. Cool. Oh, okay. Yeah, Sarah, that looks great. Yeah, and you're Rush. gonna be surprised. You're gonna uh, wanna. Yep. Um. So, do we have to water this every day to see it grow? Is it not every sun, right? Not every day, um, but you do want to kind of. Good. It's not going to stay right in the middle. Okay, hold, Natalia, one yeah. second. Let's answer Sam's question, okay? And then we can get to yours. Deal? So you, you do want to um, rinse out the water maybe every couple days, just because water can get weird if it's just standing there. Um, okay. So what I usually do is like, I'll just like add some new water and squish it around and I don't totally pour it out, but I kind of rinse it out. Okay. Um, and that's really just cause like water can get bacteria in it okay. and then it'll grow like an algae it gets gross and it smells. And so we just don't want that to happen to your kitchen or your window. <laughs> Yeah, that's the question. Okay, hold on, Sarah. Let's let Natalia ask her question. She's been waiting so patiently. Yeah, that's so, okay. That's question. When I put the bulb in, it, like it, like in the middle, it doesn't stay in the middle. It kind of looks like this. Let me see. Oh, um, that's perfect. That yeah. looks good. It looks perfect. Um, oh. I would take out a little bit more water though, sweetie, because I am worried that it's gonna rot. Okay. Um, so like take out like half an inch of water, an inch. I mean, what do I do you don't want, now? You don't want it to touch good? the bulb. You just don't want it to touch the bulb. Oh, it doesn't want to touch the bulb. Okay. Yeah. So it's kind of weird, but you know how you guys, um, you know how when you're planting a seed, you bury it? Well, this is kind of like that. Like, you're not putting the bulb in the water, but somehow it's still gonna grow it's towards the water. The water. water it, it just like knows. Is this good enough water or should I dump out more? I think that's good. If you want to put it in, we'll test it. Okay. Put my water, put the rest of my water back in. I have to just drop. There we go. I did it. Nice. That looks good, hon. Is that good? Yeah. I think so, um, and you know what? It'll use up the water in a couple days. And you may not have to add any, okay? So like it might suck it up because um, what happens is it kind of dries. Like you see the roots are there and they're just like sleeping. And when we add the water, it's gonna wake them up and it's gonna like suck up that water and then we'll just keep adding water to it. Go ahead, Sarah. If I'm not using the things I got from my kit, can I save these for a different project? Yeah. Okay. They're yours. <laughs> well, I have another question. Does that have to be in the sun? I would put it in your window. Yeah. Do I have my, is it okay to the window in my room? Um, as long as you have sun in I a window. I have sun in my room all the time. Yeah. Yeah. So like, um, what happens is if you're growing things in your room, if you put it like in the center of your room, you're going to get less sun to those items. And I've had okay, people- I'll bring do it downstairs and put it in my, downstairs in my kitchen. Yeah. So more sun I've kitchen. had people do that and it just doesn't grow as fast. All right, I'll grow it in my, I'll do it in my kitchen. Yeah. So 
as long as you get sun in a window, it doesn't matter what one you pick. Um, it doesn't matter how much sun it really gets. It just, okay. it'll, it'll get reflected off the snow or whatever. All right, I'll have my mom pick a window to put it in. I'll let her choose. Okay. I'll then my mom pick the window too. Mom, awesome. Mom. Um, does anyone else have any questions? No, this is a fun so, part. Um, one of my one of my uh, favorite things you can do is once this grows, if you want, you can cut it up and give it to someone, just like a, a cut flower. Um, can you plant it too? You can plant them, um, but this is kind of like an alternative to planting. But you can plant these in dirt if you'd rather. I think I will. Um, I think I'll do that. Yeah. So Come another thing, another thing you could do if you wanted. You could do this right now and then say come fall, you could actually plant it in a pot and do the same thing, you know, because it just has to have like a couple months. Um, you could either put it in the fridge, in the freezer, uh, you could put it in your garage or somewhere where it's kind of cool. It's warm in my basement. Cool. In my yeah, basement. in a basement. And what I do is, um, I never like to do this, but it actually does help the plant. So we want the plant to what they call die back, which means it's going to flower and then it's just going to like kind of fall apart. And people like to cut it off so that it's a bulb again. We don't want to do that because all the energy is in that flower. So you want to just let it flower and it'll yellow and it'll kind of turn brown and crispy. And then you can cut it if you want. You put it in a brown paper bag or something and throw it in your basement. Forget about it. Throw it in your fridge. Um, I do it with my dahlias. I do it with my dahlias. I take them out of the ground every year and put them in my basement. Then, then you can use them again next year or in the fall. And it just kind of is like bulbs are like the gift that keeps on giving you know you can always have a little bit of hope and joy and these um i heard these can stay in the ground or for the whole year too for the winter too and the fine mm -hmm. yeah exactly because they like it cold they they need that like couple months of cold weather and um the reason i love doing this is because it's something uh every day you'll see the changes like you actually will get to be able to pick this bulb up and you'll see the roots like get bigger and bigger and you'll get to see it flower you might see it like actually grab some roots um and you'll you'll get to see it kind of, you'll, you'll get to see it fade away and become a bulb again and it's you know, some people might think that's sad, but it's actually taking all its energy to become like another helpful like bulb for winter again for you. Yeah, so, I love it. Yeah, I mean, I think it's something really fun and something to uh, move it along so it's, it's closer to spring because, you know, we had some nice weather and now it's gone. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Today's today's in the today's um in the nine or teens or something like that. I was like, I was like crazy. Kind of cool today. I was like that in Boston too, but it's like 